Uh, according to um, Kadam uh, in 2017, uh, he describes uh, informed consent as the cornerstone of, of ethics. Uh, and it's important um, not just for ethical reasons um, to do a thorough informed consent, but also for, for legal reasons um, to avoid you know, lawsuits. Uh, and so the the client has a clear understanding what's what's going to happen during the during the session. Um, he says uh, in regards to informed consent that it's essential to investigate and adopt innovative communication strategies uh, to enhance understanding. And I like what he's talking about here, particularly about investigating and adopting um, and doing the research to find the most effective communication standards um, for that particular counselor. What works for me might not work for the next person. And I think it's important to stay on top of those communication strategies. So a couple of the um, informed consent sheets that I had uh, reviewed online some of them were very, very long. Um, I could not see a client, you know, spending a lot of time on those. Others were, were shorter, more condensed and, and highlighted. And I think the counselors have to uh, do a thorough job explaining informed consent uh, and not just to protect the, the counselor, but also uh, for the client uh, to have a, a thorough understanding of what's happening. Uh, in, in the session, and it is our responsibility to do that and to spend some time reviewing what was covered in that consent, because uh, many people, they just sort of scan over paperwork and sign at the bottom, and uh, I think it's important to make sure that um, e each client is fully aware of the process that they're um, about to, to, to go through, and this would prevent future issues with communication um, surprises, especially with uh, billing fees, if there is a potential for a referral, um, all those things would be covered in a in a thorough informed consent form and, and would uh, minimize the potential for a future conflict.